Hey, what's up, guys? It's the Free Tangerine 17, and welcome to the finale of Let's Play Spyro 4 and to the Dragonfly Semi Blind. Previous episode, we took down Jurassic Jungle, the final level of the game, and if we check out the Atlas now, you shall see 7,000 out of 7,000, 90 out of 90, 100 percent complete. All five powers, too, of course. There you have it. Every single level of the game, everything collected. It's wonderful, isn't it? Now, all we have left is the final boss, which, according to a uh, legend, should have three forms if I have 100% going into the boss, and we should get the extra special ending. Other than that, I really don't know what to expect from this boss, but anyways, let's jump on in, and hopefully it's good old, good old fun times. Treasure found zero, total treasure 7,000. Hopefully we get a bit of a cutscene. We definitely haven't had much going on with the story in this game thus far, have we? Which I guess is a result of, you know, rushing the game and everything. But still, would be a bit nice. Have some kind of trash talking with Ripto, etc. <laughs> I've heard the music is supposed to be a remix of uh, Gulp's Overlook, which I'm very excited about. Ooh. Okay, now we're going straight into the battle. Oh no, we're talking to him. Hello, Ripto. Oh, this definitely sounds like Gulp's Overlook. You're back again? How is this possible? I will take care of you permanently! Oh, wait a minute, I said that last <laughs> time. I wouldn't want to sound like a video game clip. <laughs> Let me try that again. This time, I will take care of you once and for all! <laughs> Lol. The metaness. Video game cliche. Didn't even spell cliche right, guys. Come on. What's he doing? Hocus, hocus Pocus. Pocus, okay. This, yeah, this is definitely a remix of Gulp's Overlook from Spyro 2, which I'm happy about because I love the Gulp's Overlook. It's my favorite boss theme from the original trilogy. Anyways. Hocus Pocus, what is this? Um, whoa. Okay. What's he doing? Am I supposed to use a certain breath? Oh, okay, he's firing those at me. I've got to dodge him. I have to use certain breath and I freeze it. Can I electrify it? Flame it? Oh, okay, flaming it worked, I think. I need some fodder. Thank you. Interesting setting here. We're in like. Oh, well, I died. Great. Yeah, <laughs> we're in like some kind of volcanic crater, which is fitting since Jurassic Jungle was the final level and it was very volcanic, I suppose. Almost looks not so much like a crater and like another lava river that sort of goes beyond there. Anyways, I'm really not sure what I'm supposed to be doing here, and that is very hard to dodge. I swear that's hurting it, isn't it? It sounds like it's hurting it, but I'm not really having any effect. Maybe I should just wait until he stops attacking. Maybe he does something else. Oh, man, that's hard to dodge. It's not a lot of time. Okay, I think I'm supposed to... T oh, come on! You just give me a chance, like bloody hell. I'm not gonna run out of lives on this because this is, seems very hard. The camera won't stay focused on him either. I'm having to worry about the bloody camera constantly turning. In the original trilogy, the camera focuses on the boss for you, which is very handy. Not so much in this, which is annoying. Am I supposed to attack him or am I just supposed to dodge? I, I really don't know. I'm just gonna keep dodging for a while, I think. See what happens. Okay. Dodge, 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 dodge. This isn't doing anything. I've got to attack him somehow. Oh my god! I have like no invulnerability frames. I just get hit so easily. It, it sounds like it's damaging him. Oh. Oh, if you hit him. He runs away. Oh, and it looks like it's weakening. The ba- the- oh, God damn it. The barrier is weakening. Oh, yeah, look, it's almost gone. Yep, okay, I'm dead. I'm dead, but I'm okay with this, because I actually know what I'm doing now. I actually know that you are supposed to attack him. And if I can avoid getting hit and stun-locked, that would be brilliant, so I can keep, you know... Okay, wait, I'll avoid the first one. Or not. That is so hard to dodge, and he double-hits you as well. Oh, he freaking triple-hit me. Did you see? This is so cheap. It what the hell is this boss? This is actually- I'm not even- I'm not even exaggerating, this is a cheap boss, like, what the hell? Oh, it gave me a life. Well, that was generous of you. Oh my god, this- Oh, did you, did you double him? Oh my god! Oh, this is freaking awful. 
What the hell is this boss design? Right. There. Come on. That's... No, that's still not it. <sighs> Almost. Come on. One more. No. It's still not done. Oh, great. The last hit. And I freaking died. Good job. It's so hard to dodge. The camera won't focus on him. This is, this is awful. What? Oh. Wait, what? Oh. Wait, did it checkpoint me after destroying the barrier? Focus, but focus. they never give you checkpoints mid-boss in the original trilogy. That's generous of them, but also kind of disappointing, I guess, because it makes it a lot easier. Oh my god, what the hell is he doing? Focus, okay, he's focus. just saying hocus pocus again. Uh, he's big. Oh, it's a fire barrier. I guess I have to freeze it. Um. Ow. Is this just the same thing again? Why, where did that bullet come from? I don't get it. He wasn't firing. Alright, here. You know, I wonder if the t it's a two minute speed run when you just glitch into the, the boss. Oh, god damn it! Hopefully, the wait, does it checkpoint me? I think it. That would make it really easy if it checkpointed me, but I won't. Yeah, it looks. Looks like they did checkpoint me. But yeah, if it's a two minute speed run, you just glitch into the boss. You wouldn't have the ice breath for that second phase, so I wonder what you would do, you know? I don't know. I guess I'll have to watch one of those speed runs once I'm done here. Anyways, phase three, I guess. Is this the 100% exclusive one? Or what? Oh no, what the hell is that? That is ugly. Oh boy. What am I supposed to use to attack him? Ah, uh, ice breath, electric breath, bubble, fire, anything, nothing's working. Did you see that? I couldn't move, it wouldn't let me move, it just constantly hit me. No wonder they put checkpoints in this boss, I must have recognised that it was really stupid with the stun locks and they didn't have time to fix it. Also, that bit of the music there, that just played, that is from the final boss music in Medieval. And I've realized there are um, a lot of people point out that Gulp's Overlook music is used in a lot of video games and, and TV shows and stuff. It's like a, a well-known sort of stock music piece. And apparently the uh, medieval Final Boss music has that title as well. And apparently they both come from like the same sample. So there's like this song from like a Jurassic Park game which sounds like a mashup of Gulp's Overlook from Spyro 2 and the Final Boss music from the first medieval game. And if you've never heard of the uh, medieval games, that's medieval spelt with an, an I. Two I's, so there's no A in it, if you were going to look that game up. Anyway, it's a, yeah, it's a PS1 game. So yeah, if you take, take a listen to that farm boss music and Gulps Overlook, and then listen to, um, I think the piece of music is called uh, Race to the Top, or, or no, Race to the Summit from Jurassic Park Trespasser, or something like that. I'll probably end up talking about this in both Spyro 2 and Medieval 1 if I end up playing them on this channel, which I probably will. Anyway, enough of discussing music stuff. Um, what the hell am I supposed to do? <laughs> I actually don't know what I'm supposed to do. Actually, no, I have an idea. I have an idea. I actually legit have an idea of what I'm supposed to do. It's kind of cryptic, but at the same time not. I think I might have to... No, not the wing shield. I, I, well, they look like the shots of those wizards in Thieves' Den. Um, shot. So, oh, what is he doing now? Could this be the thing I'm supposed to do? Was I supposed to hit him while he was doing that? Um, you confused me, game. Bubble breath obviously isn't gonna help me. I've used fire and ice, so I'm guessing it's electricity for this phase. I mean, yeah, that's my best bet, I suppose. Oh God, it's run. I don't like that. Do not want. Do not want. So, is it like every three... Oh, jeez. This timing's changed. Now, what? He's doing this again. I actually wasn't expecting that. I thought he was going to do the whole hit the ground again. Okay. I'm very confused by this boss. I honestly am. What am I supposed to be doing? I swear, if I had to do all three phases at once... Oh, wait. No? What? Dude! 
Dude, I, I tried hitting it with electric breath. It didn't do anything. Like, it was, what is this boss? What is this boss? I don't understand it. Maybe I am supposed to hit the shots back at him. I'm just supposed to hit them with a breath instead of the wing shield. That could be it. Oh, no. Okay, apparently I'm supposed to hit him with electric breath when he's doing that. I just have to make sure I hit him instead of the scepter or... I didn't even know. It seemed to work. Whatever. We'll just try it again when he happens to do that. I don't know what I'm doing, honestly. Okay, hits the ground. He's doing that again. Run away. Rinse your feet. Ow. Ah, uh, come on. This isn't just annoying, it's also tedious. Uh, do you have to avoid being hit to get him to do the charge thing on the ground? Because that's kind of bullshit. Well, I was lucky I dodged that. It's a stupid camera again. Okay. There we go. I'm guessing three hits like that is probably how it's done. Oh, jeez, that was close. Stupid camera again. That's all I have to say. And then we have the bit of the music again that's from the medieval final boss. Well, I say it's from that. It's from the, the sample that was used for the medieval final boss. So that's just where I recognize it from. And I'm dead. Good, good job. Oh, bloody hell. I hope I don't have to do those two hits again, but I wouldn't put it past the game. I mean... Oh, gee. No. Did that... I don't think that damaged him. I do think I have to use electric breath. Which sucks, because I didn't have it ready. You went too early for me. I wasn't ready. Stupid boss. Come on. I can handle it. Can we start doing the charge thing again? No, he never does it. This is a... Uh, you know, I don't like this final boss. It's kind of not hard. It's not that hard, but it's also really tedious. And, uh, and there aren't really any other bosses to compare it to because it's the only one in the game. So, yeah, you disappoint me a little bit, game, to be perfectly honest. You really do. Or at least with this boss. The rest of the game is being pretty solid. He's still not doing it. Maybe I have. Maybe it's not surviving. Maybe I have to be a certain distance from him. Like I have to be quite close up for him to do it, or the opposite. Oh well, now he's doing it. I don't. I don't know. There we go. Dodged. Alright, we'll stand here. Oh, that was close. No, still not doing it. I don't think it's far away either, because I've been generally keeping my distance in the past, and he hasn't really done it more often, so... I don't know, maybe it is just a cycle thing. Either way, I don't like this boss at all. Still not doing it. Come on. Oh my god, I hate this guy. He still won't do it. Could you do it? For goodness sake! This is actually starting to get frustrating. It's frustrating. It's actually not because it's hard. This is one of those few times when he's frustrating not because it's hard. It's because he won't freaking oblige and realize he's not winning by doing these stupid attacks which don't yield any threat to me so you know what I'm just gonna run in and see if I can attack him when he's not doing that move no I have to do it while he's doing that attack but he never does it ever ever damn it I didn't mean to glide there oh shit Ah, oh, screw you, you stupid piece of junk, piece of garbage. It's utter ridiculous. Uh, I'm just gonna cut to the various hits I get on him, because you guys don't want to watch this. This is one of the most boring freaking bosses I've ever played. And 
you probably don't want to watch it the same way I don't want to play it. So, I'm just going to skip ahead to each hit I get. That was the first one. Alright, hit number two. It actually didn't take him long to get to at that time for some reason. And again, it didn't take him long to get to it. I'm not sure what's up with that. That's the third hit. We're still going, apparently. Well, that's irritating. Alright, he's finally doing it. That took ages that time. It took like nearly two minutes that time. Oh, great. Oh, he's doing it again. He's doing it again. Go, 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 go. Come on, that was like the fifth hit. I can't see, I can't see, I can't see. I don't have any health. I don't have any. Oh, no! That was like the fifth hit! How are we not done yet? I hate this boss. I hate. This is. It's probably the worst. Like, no, okay, I hate the final boss for Spyro 3 as well, but this is awful, honestly. Regardless of how bad Spyro 3's boss is as well, final boss is rather, um, this is still awful. Spyro 2 is the only Spyro game that's had a good final boss. Not even kidding, out of the, out of the four Spyro games I've played, this not included, Spyro 2 is the only one that has a good final boss. Which, now is, I realize is kind of freaking depressing, in all honesty. Oh, apparent. What? I swear, I only hit him four times on that on that round. But apparently, wait, is that it? Oh, come on, seriously, we didn't. What? What is that? That was such a bad final boss. What's happening? Oh, he shrunk back down. No, not again. My plans were so perfect. Twice I put my faith in this staff, and twice it has failed me! Dragons! Dragonflies! I can't win! I can't win! Exactly. Well, that's what you get for playing with your little sticks. Silly Ripto, don't you know magic and dinosaurs don't mix? You haven't heard the last from me, you little demon! I'll be back, and you'll be sorry. Every last one of you will be sorry! Yeah, I bet. Yeah, alright. Apparently that was the final cut. What the hell is that? It looks like a giant cake. Mmm, cake. Was it cake? It was cake! It's final cutscene time, it seems. I don't know what you're saying, Spox. Well, as normal as fairy tales go anyway, pal. I'll tell you what, though, guys. We weren't just gonna stand by and let Ripto ruin this day for the baby dragon. Who right, Sparks? Or the dragonflies. Well, everything is finally back to normal. Isn't it, Spyro? <laughs> oh, it's just that wink. Yeah, very back to normal. Was that really it? Was that the final cutscene I get for 100%? Was that it? Or is there one after the credits? Either way, kind of an underwhelming ending. And I think that's probably the best way to describe this game as a whole, now that we get into the final thoughts. It's an underwhelming game, but it's not as bad as its reputation might have you think. This is still a solid Spyro game, it just, yeah, just a sort of underwhelming thing to it, you know, even if they're bigger levels, it's still only 8 levels. There's only the one boss, and I can tell you right now, that was a pretty disappointing boss, it was pretty bloody boring. Um, but other than that, the levels it does has are, are still very solid. They're, they're, this game has a reputation of being glitchy, and sometimes the glitches do work to your detriment as a player. Like that stupid Dragonfly Dojo Dragonfly I couldn't get, which forced me to have to replay two whole levels. But most of the time, the glitches don't work to your detriment, and the levels are pretty well designed. There isn't any of the interesting platforming challenges, other than the Crop Circle Country and Thieves' Den sort of platforming um, challenge areas for the, the Dragonflies. The actual like, main levels themselves didn't have any sort of interesting, intricate platforming designs. I guess Honey Marsh did actually a bit. I'll admit that much. I feel like there was a certain more degree of simplicity with some of the main level design in this game compared to the original trilogy. But less complex and, and, and multi-layered with the different areas you could go to, but 
uh, th th that's not to say that the levels weren't fun to play, and some of them were quite enjoyable for like the paths they went on and were quite grand in scope, because again, they did make the levels a bit bigger since there are only eight of them. You know, like Monkey's Monastery and Thieves' Den, Jurassic Jungle even was quite big. I mean, they, they were all pretty big levels, really. Um, favoritism. I, I didn't get to replay Cloud9, that was one of the few levels I didn't have to play twice, but from what I remember, I'd probably say it was my favorite level in the game, Cloud9. Thieves' Den, after replaying it, it, it went down a little bit in my opinion. I'm not sure I'd say it's my second favorite level. I think I might give that to Jurassic Jungle. But then Thieves' Den wouldn't be too, up, too far behind. Crop Circle Country was always a bit of fun. Luau Island was kind of cool. It just had some problems like that Dragonfly. It's annoying to catch the bubble breath. And its side challenges weren't that great, you know. And I had to replay the level twice. So that got on my nerves. Dragonfly Dojo was a bit meh as well, although I, I did like the setting of it. Um, what am I not mentioning? Honey Marsh, yeah, Honey Marsh is a fun level. Um, not the most complicated, I guess, did, like I mentioned, yeah, that's an interesting sort of platform challenge, like where you go across the trees and everything. I really like the slides. Oh, wait, music composed by Stuart Copeland, ooh, there he is. This music that's playing on the credits sounds a lot like a mix of the type of music here in Spyro 1 through 3 and the music in this game with the vocals and everything. Because, uh... Yeah, this, this game's music has definitely felt a bit different from the original trilogy. I think Copeland tried to change up his style a little bit. Even though there are some still, you know, parts you can hear from the original. Oh, Billy, Billy West was also in this. D. Baker, is that D. Bradley Baker? D. D not used to put Bradley in, in the name. Because I know him, he's a well-known voice actor. And of course, Tom Kenny voices Spyro. Good old Spongebob. Anyways, yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the slides. I love the slides. They're my favorite parts of these side challenges, so I'm glad there was three of them. I think the, the game devs probably recognized um, Flavi. That was a dragonfly called Flavi. I remember that. That's interesting. Dragon, Yeah, Flavi Gufflet. It's a funny name. Uh, I wonder how many dragonflies are named after game devs in this. <laughs> uh, that'd be interesting to know. Yeah, the slides were a lot of fun. Um, I'm not sure which one was my favorite. Maybe the Jurassic Jungle one, since it was the longest and probably the most aesthetically impressive one, though Honey, though Honey Marsh did impress me quite a lot. Monkey Monastery one was a bit short, but at least it was a double Dragonfly challenge, and it had the interesting timing thing. But yeah, the slides are definitely my favorite part about this, this game, um, when, at least when it comes to the um, slide challenge areas. It's a bit of a shame Thieves' Den didn't have one, that would have definitely elevated it, in my opinion. And yeah, there was just the three speedways, wasn't it? It was, um, uh, what should I call it? Uh, Banzai Speedway, Rainbow Speedway, and Oasis Speedway in uh, Dragonfly Dojo, Cloud9, and Thieves' Den. But anyway, that looks like it. Looks like we've gone back to the title screen. So I'm guessing I did get my 100% cutscene, which was that one with Sparrow. You know what's funny? Because he said he didn't want to ruin that day for the, the baby dragonflies. I'm pretty sure at least a day had passed since you rescued all of them. Maybe they rescheduled the day. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, so yeah. Really, overall, describing this game... It isn't a good, as good of a game as the original trilogy games are, definitely not, but it is still a solid game, and I think if you've played this game before but you didn't like it, you should give it another chance, because it's a solid experience, even if a little underwhelming. I think that really is the phrase that encapsulates it. Underwhelming, but still good old-fashioned Spyro fun. So, with that, this Let's Play has officially come to an end, it is 100% complete. As for my next project, my next project, as I'm alternating between Mega Man games and other games, I'll be playing Mega Man 3. I should be doing Search Snake only, that will be my challenge run. Um, unless something drastic changes between now and when I record that episode, it should be Search Snake only. It should be interesting, the Search Snake is definitely an, an odd weapon, which I'm very much looking forward to seeing how it works, trying to beat the whole game using it and only it. Of course, if you're not familiar with the Mega Man games, make sure to check that out, and if you can, my Mega Man 1 and 2 playthroughs because they're a uh, good, good fun set of platformers in Mega Man games, much like Spyro, although Mega Man's a 2D platformer, as well as Spyro's 3D, but yeah, still, whatever. Still, all, all great games, all great games, so make sure to check that out if you can. But anyway, so for now, that brings us to the end of Spyro 4, Enter the Dragonfly. So with that, I bid you adieu. This is the Fruity Tangerine 17, signing off.